capital is an economic term which means a resource which enables the production of more resources, goods, services and sometimes income. Capital can come in different forms, such as manufactured capital which can be buildings and machines, human capital which is education and experience that comes with a person, and natural capital. Natural capital is a term used when talking about the land and soil, air, water, living organisms and natural resources of the earth that provide benefits to people. Scotland has a wide range of these habitats and ecosystems, each of which makes a unique contribution to the well-being of those who live and work in Scotland. An ecosystem can provide an endless number of goods and services, things that people use, many of which we would not survive without. A few include producing oxygen, cleaning air and water, providing building materials and fuel like wood, preventing erosion, as well as making people who visit the ecosystem feel better. These goods and services are known as ecosystem services. So let's take our river in a woodland. We have trees that produce wood for building. We have a river that fish live in, that people can eat. And all the plants create oxygen for us to breathe. It also provides recreational services as it's somewhere you can go camping and it's pretty nice to look at. However, if an ecosystem is not healthy or it is destroyed, it won't be able to provide the goods and services as well. Because nature provides its benefits for free, the services it provides are often undervalued. Natural capital approaches look to explore how these ecosystems and their benefits are valued by people, including how valuable they are in terms of money. By putting a monetary value on these services, we can start to understand how much it would cost to replace these services if we lost them due to ecosystems being destroyed. So another example, if you have a local park, you may be able to play football or go for a run, or even a swim if you live near the sea to keep physically healthy. If you didn't, you'd probably have to go to a sports centre and pay money to use their football pitch or their swimming pool. Because parks are free to enter, this avoided cost is often not thought about when considering the importance of parks. However, working out the monetary value of a habitat is very difficult. There are not only lots of goods and services and lots of factors that affect how well these goods and services are delivered, but habitats are also always evolving and changing. Organisations and the government of countries are, however, doing a much better job at incorporating natural capital into their decision making. For example, when thinking about how a country wants to use its land and whether they want to use the area for woodland, parkland, farming or housing.